All right, folks, we're going to shoot a little video here of why when you go to a real shop and buy your tires, you're getting more than just the tires. So when you go to these big box stores and you say, oh my gosh, your tires are 10 bucks a piece cheaper, I'm going to go to them, where a real shop is going to be looking out for your safety. This is the car that just been to a big box store. Front tires were wore down to the cords, both sides, never questioned it, soldered tires. And in some pictures later that I'll show that they don't even know how to balance. Uh, but here is, I hope you can see this, the amount of play in the lower ball joint. I hope this is showing up here. That is, there is that much in both sides. And it's one bump away from that ball joint coming off and the wheels going whatever direction they want. So, you know, it just goes to show, cheaper's not always better. All right, thanks, be safe, bye-bye. Uh, this is that same car that had the uh, really dangerous ball joints that had tires put on at a, a big box store. And this is one of the rear tires just showing that they, they can't even balance the tire with a, with a probably pretty modern day tire balancer. As you can see, there's weights across from each other. Uh, and anybody that knows anything about balancing, that uh, that's not the answer. That there's the outside of the rear tire and the outside of the front tire looks just like it. But this is the inside of the front tire, where as you can see, they have weights at three points. So, uh, you know, they uh, don't understand the concept of uh, spin balancing or dynamic balancing. So. Uh, Anyway, it's probably in balance if you put on a balancer, but all that weight is not needed. And if one of those weights comes off, then not only is the wheel out of balance, it's extremely out of balance because there's weight where it is not needed. One wheel weight would probably take care of these four. So if I had more time, I'd balance it up to show you, but uh, I don't know what she's going to do with this car yet. So anyway, uh, be safe and thanks. Bye-bye.